In this episode of Wisconsin Beer Spotlight, we're taking a look at one of my all-time favorite beers. This is Spotted Cow by New Glarus. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Jared and this is Wisco Style, Wisconsin culture at its finest. So if you're looking to discover a new beer, learn about Wisconsin culture, or just like hanging out with us, consider subscribing. As I said before, this is Spotted Cow. This is one of my all-time favorite beers. It's made by the New Glarus Brewing Company, based in New Glarus, Wisconsin. And the interesting thing about all New Glarus beers is they are only available in Wisconsin. They are not sold anywhere outside of Wisconsin borders, which I think is very interesting. And if you take a look at the label, got that little cow right there. It's prancing over beautiful state of Wisconsin. Let's see what the label says. So on the, on the side of it, it says, every drop of Wisconsin's original farmhouse ale is artisan brewed and bottled by the hardworking employee owners of New Glarus Brewing Company, right here in little New Glarus, Wisconsin. Spotted Cow adheres to the Reinheitsgebot purity law using only four hand selected all natural ingredients. If you know what those ingredients are, you're definitely a beer connoisseur, but I'm gonna tell you what they are anyway. It'd be yeast, hops, water, and malted barley. We allow yeast to remain in the bottle to enhance the fullness of flavors so it is naturally cloudy, which is one of the things I actually really like about this beer. Expect this ale to be fun, fruity, and satisfying. You know you're in Wisconsin when you see the spotted cow. Only in Wisconsin. And if you look at the label right here, I don't know if that's showing up really. It's kind of... There we go. Only in Wisconsin. Oh, I never looked at this before. On the top of the cap here, the Wisconsin logo has like a thumbprint in it. I wonder if it's one of the thumbprints of the owners. That'd be interesting. And it also says drink indigenously. Hmm. Well, let's stop wasting time. Let's open this baby up. Unfortunately, it is not a twist off, so we're gonna have to give her one of those. Pour in the glass here. There we go, look at that. Now the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the smell. It's not a real strong smell. It's a normal beer smell. Like it doesn't really have any outstanding scents. But if you look at the color, which is what we're gonna look at next, you can see how it's a little bit more cloudy than your average uh, light lager, which is the extra yeast that they leave inside the beer, which is what they said here on the label before. Full disclaimer, I have had this beer plenty of other times before, but I'm gonna taste it just because I enjoy it that much. <sighs> mm. It's got a full flavor. It's not definitely not watery at all. There's a nice citrusy kind of uh, tang, I guess. I don't really know. I'm just trying to make up some cool words. We'll go with that one, a citrusy tang. There's a little bit of a hoppy aftertaste, real little. This is one of my favorite beers, but I still can't think of anything to say about it. I just like it. It's so good. One thing I will mention though, is it is not a beer for drinking a lot of. You can have, I don't know, three or four at the most and then you start to get a little full. It is definitely for flavor. If you enjoy the kind of wheat and barley flavor, this is definitely a beer that I recommend for you. Now it's time for the ratings. Now for the smell, I'm gonna kind of give it a lower score. I'd say probably around a four, just because it doesn't really have a strong scent to it. The color is really nice because of the yeast that they leave in the beer. It gives it this fuller color and I really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the color a six out of 10. As for the taste, it is one of my all time favorite beers. So I am partially biased, but it's my show so I can say whatever I want. I'm gonna go ahead and give the flavor a nine out of 10. And that's simply just because I love how it ties everything together. It's got a nice citrusy flavor. It's smooth and it's just, ugh. I love it. You'll have to try it. Once you try it, you'll see exactly what I mean. Now for the last category, drinkability. I'd say it's kind of neutral. 
probably around a five or a six, just because there is that yeast that is left in there, which kind of fills you up the more you drink. So if you're looking to have just, you know, a couple, this would be perfect because it has that good flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a six out of 10 for drinkability. Thank you guys so much for watching the Wisconsin Beer Spotlight on Spotted Cow, my all-time favorite beer. In the comments below, if you have ever had Spotted Cow, let me know. And if you haven't, you need to go and try it. You will definitely not regret it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Joint for seven.